Throughout the year, students in the district will leave the traditional classroom setting for educational field trips. Well, now the University of Louisville offers a field trip that comes to your school and will take you out of this world. That's still on the moon to this day. Apollo 11 and the footprints are still there. There's no atmosphere on the moon. The planetarium over at the University of Louisville, they have a new traveling dome and we've been wanting to get a dome here and so they brought that dome over today and we're feeding in all of our classes, all of our kiddos from kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade are going in and they're seeing just different segments about the universe, about the stars, about the season, and about the weather. It falls as rain, pouring into rivers. You know, here's somebody from the planetarium coming and sharing that information with them and it's great they can bring it out to us. Now look, does the moon have anything like that around it? We had a planetarium in the school gym and I thought it was pretty neat. It was like all the planets and stuff was just coming right at me when I saw it and I learned a lot about the solar system and stuff. Here, at the inner edge of the belt, lies the farthest planet from the sun. It's one thing to sit in class and your teacher tell you, okay, here's what the stars look like and then point to something up on the board and show you, but to get to sit in something like this where it's dark and the stars are out, and you can see the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. I mean, it's almost just like being outside at nighttime and seeing it. The movie, it took us like to planet to planet, and like in, around the solar system. It was good. I never seen something like that. They're getting to be a part of it. It's not, it's not, like I said, it's not the, the teacher explaining it to them and not having that stuff there. I mean, this is the real planetarium. This is the real you know, looking up and, and you're only 10 feet away from the stars and you can see it and they're, they're becoming those little scientists themselves and being able to make those discoveries because that's what science is all about is making those discoveries and as they're sitting in there all of a sudden they'll go, oh, well there's a little one and oh, there's this and so they're, they're discovering all those things on their own. <laughs> 